Hi, my name is Adi Pohan of Desert uh, Trail Turquoise and Gems. Uh, we have a line called Ayana, which means forever beautiful. It's a, a jewelry creation we've decided to uh, begin after first coming down to Phoenix in around uh, 2007. We began the company in 2008 after looking at the unique geology, uh, mineralogy, uh, landforms, cultures, and the beauty of the Southwest. Uh, here is a tray of our Ayana jewelry. This is uh, very affordable and uh, our jewelry here is based around turquoise. We use many stones from the southwest such as peridot, amethyst, um, uh, jaspers, and uh, citrines. Uh, these are all found in the area and to make really great representative jewelry pieces from the majority of Arizona stones. Uh, once again, this is uh, all natural, uh, semi-precious stone. Our line consists of necklaces, bracelets, and earring sets. And they're comprised mostly of turquoise with other components. In this particular line, we're using the copper, which is predominant in Arizona and silver, the Indians, uh, America, Native Americans, uh, Indians use this in most of their jewelry. Here we have a green turquoise and we have peridot, which is also a basalt mineral uh, found in those formations. They're mined here uh, commonly. Uh, here we have some gaspiite, which can be found in New Mexico. Uh, and this is different uh, mined turquoise in one assembly with silver. We created this uh, so that customers at Sibley's would have an understanding and a quick means at which to take a look at the different types of turquoise and how they're processed for the jewelry industry. And uh, in here you can see the different colors, the different uh, component uh, coloring caused by the different compounds within the mine area. And uh, this will give you a good idea of uh, stabilized, unstabilized turquoise, um, colors of green that come from iron and zinc and blue of course from the copper which is so predominant in uh, Arizona and Nevada and this entire southwest. Why do you think uh, turquoise and those colored gems have such appeal in Arizona? Uh, Arizona is known as a copper state. There are more gemstones mined and produced out of Arizona in Arizona than anywhere else in any of the other states. Copper uh, is so predominant in the area. The uh, original Native Indians based a lot of their trade, their route systems all around the Americas as well as the Southwest for trade in macaw feathers and turquoise and many of the other stones here, obsidian. Uh, so this stone has been used by the Native Americans for a long time and it's representative, it's characteristic of the Southwest and this is the character. We base most of our turquoise around, our, our jewelry around turquoise. Is there a way to tell real turquoise from faux turquoise? The real turquoise comes in almost every different color and it, like I mentioned it comes in a chalky form and unless it's uh, stabilized it's going to be very somewhat weak. Now turquoise can be many different colors uh, where you'll find an e easy um, opportunity to tell turquoise is what's called block turquoise that is uh, reconstituted turquoise. It is still real turquoise but it's turquoise dust from stone cutting and polishing which is blended together with resins and at that point reformed into blocks which can be cut. Uh, now this is uh, far less expensive than non-stabilized top layer turquoise but it's also more durable and it's far less porous than anything else on the market. Uh, so you have pros and cons of every one of the different turquoise uh, forms. The uh, main um, objective of ours is to provide very affordable jewelry that's characteristic of the Southwest with stones characteristic of the geological strata and the formations here. Great. Well, thanks for being a part of Sibley's West. Thank you.